Hello folks, Brian Rickard here. Today we're going to get rid of the little old bug that's been popping up on a few people's screens lately. When you go to a flash video, you might be seeing this little box here. Adobe Flash Player Settings. Annoying, isn't it? And uh, I don't know about you, but it doesn't seem to like me clicking on it. Sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. And so it could be a nuisance getting rid of it. So, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. Move up anywhere in your Flash Player area here. Right click. And you'll see Global Settings. Click on Global Settings. And up comes your pop-up to control Global Settings. And move it over here we can see it better. Now you notice it's right now assigned to ask me before allowing new sites to save information on this computer. That's what causes that pop-up to come up. You have two options to avoid this. Either click on Allow Sites to save information on this computer, or you can block all sites from storing information on this computer. However, if you click on Block All Sites from Storing Information on this Computer, you get a new pop-up to disable the local storage, where it explains Blocking all the sites may disable functionality on some of the websites. It could just mean that the video won't play, or there could be other consequences. So if you're not sure, you can go ahead and allow the sites to save the information. It's a, as that showed, it was a 1,000K or one... K of data. And uh, it's only going to go into a temporary file. So anytime you close your cache or cookie, it will remove that. So it shouldn't be any drastic thing to happen. So rather than block them, we'll click the cancel and we'll click on allow. We'll let them do their thing and then when the time's up, you can always delete the files just by simply clearing your history, clearing your cache, clearing your cookies, whichever it might have put there. And of course you do that through your uh, history tab up top in Firefox, which is what we're looking at primarily here. You can also do it by site if you wish. If there's only certain sites you want to do that for, click on that. And it will give you a list of all the ones that you have allowed and allow you to do that. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to click on Allow Sites to Save Information on this computer, and then go ahead and click to close it out. Now, to actually get rid of it, you will need to uh, bounce your, or reboot your browser, restart your browser, there we go, coming back up. And here comes the spreecast again. And ta-da! No more annoying box. And now you can watch your spreecast without any nuisance or interruption there. So that's it. That's how to clear that out. Thank you very much, and have a great day.